Hello and a very warm welcome to Megan and Harry News YouTube channel. Hello, my name is Alex, very nice to meet you all. I'm t taking over from Hugo for the next two weeks. He has a lot on his plate at the moment and he asked me to step in. And being a fan of the channel, I thought, well, why not? It will be fun. So I'm going to try and keep it in a very similar format to how Hugo would have presented it. So without further ado, we shall start with this item of news from the Metro. Megan urges next generation of trailblazing women to challenge injustice. Meghan Markle has hosted a virtual roundtable discussion with a group of teenage girls to encourage them to make their voices heard. The Duchess of Sussex spoke with the young activists, primarily girls of colour, who are part of the US non-profit organisation Girls Incorporated. It was intended to give the 13 to 18 year olds a platform to help define a path forward and continue making an impact, according to a post on the Sussex's Archwell website. At the Girls Incorporated event, she was joined by leaders from the organisation and the National Women's Law Centre, which advocates women's legal rights. The Duchess reflected on the impact of trailblazing women throughout history and asked the group to share their female role models which emboldened them to challenge injustice. So now let's move on to a more contemptuous article in the Daily Mirror. The title reads, Meghan and Harry, Hypocrites, for private message to William and Kate, says author. A spokesperson for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle revealed the couple had congratulated Prince William and Kate Middleton on their wedding anniversary in private. It says here, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been branded hypocritical after congratulating Prince William and Kate Middleton in private on their 10 year wedding anniversary. Royal experts have questioned why the Duke and Duchess of Sussex didn't send their wishes in public as other members of the firm did after their private message was confirmed by their representatives. A spokesperson for the couple who have insisted on privacy since stepping down as working royals told the Daily Beast they had privately congratulated the Cambridges. In contrast, the Queen, as well as Prince Charles and Camilla, all released messages of support for William and Kate on social media. Royal author Phil Dampier said it was a bizarre step for Harry and Meghan to rely on their spokespeople to confirm the congratulations and only when asked, making it look manipulated and contrived. Mr Dampier, who penned royally suited Harry and Meghan in their own words, told The Sun, the Queen and Prince Charles made their messages of congratulations to William and Kate on their 10th anniversary in public, so why didn't Meghan and Harry? Instead, they relied on their spokespeople leaking out the fact they sent a message. I have to say this article joins the very, very long list of petty, predictable and pointless articles that we have seen deliberately targeting the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Why, for goodness sake, would it matter who or how one sends a message of congratulations to someone, it is no surprise to see a tabloid newspaper making a big deal over something so trivial. It seems there is nothing, no matter how small a detail, that these tabloids won't pick on to attempt to throw shade at the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Another suspicious article I have found is this one in the Irish Post. The title reads, Prince Harry embarrassed by Oprah interview and regrets decision to quit royal family. It states, Prince Harry is reportedly embarrassed by the interview he and his wife, Meghan Markle, conducted with Oprah Winfrey, according to Royal Insider. It's understood that the Duke now regrets leaving the royal family, but was so hurt and angry over how Meghan was treated that he felt he had to speak out. As I'm sure many of you out there are well aware, this is yet another piece of journalism, where the claims come from a royal insider. This royal insider seems to be Duncan Larcombe, who was embarrassingly arrested in a payments probe back in 2012, who I believe is the royal insider in question for this article. He makes these claims with no knowledge of Harry's mindset at this particular time. He has clearly had no contact with him about these situations, so are all purely all based on assumption and conjecture, and in effect could be the opinion of any person anywhere. And yet this article puts up a headline which makes it sound like we are dealing with facts, when in truth we are purely just dealing with the imagination of a tabloid journalist. Thank you very much for listening. I've not done this before. 
I hope it comes across okay. See you all in the next video.